Good morning everyone and welcome back to Grandma Jane's World. Today I'm going to show you how to make my fruit pizza. It is um, usually something I make in the summer, but uh, I really wanted it to be on a video because it's so pretty and some people were saying they're hungry for it, so I'm, I'm going to make it. I made it. I actually already made the p uh, pizza crust, which is a sugar cookie. And the recipe will be on with the video, but if you want to write it down right now, the sugar cookie crust is one stick butter that I soften, one egg, one teaspoon soda, one cup sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two and a half cups flour, one teaspoon cream of tartar, and a half a cup of oil. Um, and then you spread that cookie dough after it's all mixed together, either in a nine by 13 pan or a large pizza pan. I like to use this, I have a really large pizza pan because it spreads out, it uses the whole thing, it's not too thick and it just works great. You bake that at 350 until done. After the crust is cooled, which it is, then I can finish topping it. I take eight ounces of cream cheese and a cup of sugar. And I thought I took and left the cheese, uh, vanilla out. I didn't, but I'll guesstimate it, the teaspoon. Okay, so eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla and you cream all this together, this turns into like a spread, almost like a, a dip or something that would go on top of the crust so that you can hold the fruit on. Now, I was in a bunch uh, of group with a bunch of girls years ago when our kids were little, and we called ourselves the Stitch Ann I won't say the second word, <laughs> but it rhymes with stitch and it starts with a B. <laughs> and we would, um, we were supposed to like mend clothes or sew clothes or do crafts or do whatever. But we usually just sat around and talked because we were all mothers that were raising kids. Our husbands were at work. Our kids were too little for school or, or maybe they were in preschool, whatever. And we just had so much fun. There was like a dozen of us. <laughs> and each month we would host host uh, at a different home. It was a great bunch at that time of my life. So anyway, I met a lot of great gals and I got a lot of good recipes. And this is one of the great recipes that I got. Shout out to Deanna for this. All right. So you've almost got this all creamed. It takes a little bit of Turn it around. I use a fork to cream it. Okay. Well, it's only seven degrees here in Charles City, Iowa. I'm having a cup of Java with caramel creamer with Goofy. And waking up. The Hawks basketball lost last night to Indiana. I was so bummed. But Mom and I stayed up and watched it. Cheer them on. They're a great team. I always told my kids when they were out for sports, any given day, any given team can win. And that's just the way it goes. I don't care how you're ranked. That's the way it goes. So anyway, next I will put, I think I'll move this back over here. This uh, mixture onto the cookie and spread it out as best I can here. Got a knife here. So today's a busy day. I'm gonna get a new phone. I'm gonna upgrade and see some friends and run some errands and and that should be good tomorrow. Uh, the Chiefs play the Buffalo Bills, and I'm going to be cheering on the Buff Enthusiast, and thank goodness we are, because it really gives us something to, to watch over the fall and winter months. 
Okay, I've got that spread on. Now, the next step, I'm gonna get this started while I can here, is um, what I always think has separated this delicious fruit pizza from others is the glaze, the lemon glaze that's on the top. A lot of fruit glazes, or fruit pizzas, they just put the fruit on and that's it. This one has a glaze, which is one cup orange juice, one half cup cold water, one half cup lemon juice, and three tablespoons uh, cornstarch. So I'm gonna put all those in right now into this little saucepan. Orange juice and lemon juice. Okay, where'd my spatula go? This is cold water. And I'm gonna thicken it all up is the cornstarch. And I'm gonna get that going as we get the fruit layered on the fruit pizza. All right. Here's my little Danish whisk to stir that around. If you haven't seen it yet, this is my Danish whisk. I've been showing it on different episodes because I think it's a, such an amazing tool. <laughs> And I'm gonna turn that around, put it on about medium heat. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you how to peel a kiwi. You know, it's weird because this is about the only time I eat them. And they have like a furry little uh, peel on them. And, or skin or whatever you call it. And uh, I take that off. It's just sort of a thin layer so it doesn't cut too much into the fruit. Now, kiwi are really uh, a unique little fruit. It's just, um, they're supposed to lower, and be very good for lowering cholesterol. And, and there's many things beneficial about them, but they're unique in their color and how they look. I'm do this other too, well, without burning it. And uh, when you slice them, Look at that, they got little seeds in the center. But it's all soft, so it's all edible. So you can just place them on your pizza, wherever you would, just like you would on a vegetable pizza. And uh, let's see, I gotta slice this one yet too. Tell you, even though it's cold, it's sunny, and this winter, if we could have a winter like this every year, I wouldn't uh, crave going south, I can tell, tell you that. It's not been really any weather to have to worry about driving if you do have to go out of town. I've really been thankful for that, for people that have to travel. And from years, well, 20 years, pretty much, uh, I had to. I think of it when I get up early in the morning and I think, oh my gosh, I would usually be on the road by now and it's pitch black and it's only six, seven o'clock or earlier. And I think, oh, I'm so glad right now that I don't have to and I can be home with mom. She did get diagnosed with a little bladder infection after her birthday was Sunday. Her 92nd birthday was Sunday and we had a few friends in that have always practiced safe, you know, uh, they, they're safe. They mostly stay home, uh, except for maybe the grocery store. And they wear masks and we wear masks and uh, we had a great party. I made Ina Garten's uh, chicken piccata and it was fabulous. Go on YouTube and look that one up if you're interested. It was awesome. So anyway, I wanted to show you quick too, how to, this is what I learned on, uh, peeling a banana. Start at the end, not at the top. And if you do, you're not supposed to have trouble with the strings. There's, see how they came right off with? 
I don't know who discovered that or whatever, but it works. So anyway, I'm going to slice this up real quick and get that on there. This is how I was introduced to this dessert. Uh, kiwi, bananas, and strawberries with the glazed topping. And um, that's the way I kept it. But you can put blueberries, you could use any kind of fruit, really, I, I believe, uh, on it that you would like. I just do it this way because I really liked it this way. I like how it looks. But for the 4th of July, it would also look cool to have the red, white, and blue. So bananas, strawberries, and um, blueberries would be really cool. All right, I can hear this is getting ready over here already. All you have to do is until it uh, boils and gets kind of clearer with the lemon glaze. My younger son just love this. I have taken down a few. Surprise. They usually do it in the summer, but. Uh, I think it tastes good anytime, just like, you know, a lot of people think of potato salad and stuff with barbecues in the summer, but, oh, I get in the resort in the winter sometimes, too. Okay. Okay, so thick and clear. All right, I'm going to set that off because it is. Kind of show you what that looks like. Kind of thick and clear. Let that get cooled a little bit while I finish assembling this fruit. And I have all sorts of people that are still not going out older and some that come home from work and just stay in, you know, that really kick freight of this COVID and we don't have the vaccine yet, that I can take this to. I put on a paper plate, wrap a little foil or saran around it, Put it in the sack and hang it on the door. <laughs> they don't even have to come to the door. Isn't that something? Except to get it. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And believe me, it is as tasty as it is beautiful. It takes usually about two bananas. I do three kiwi and a container like so of strawberries. And they really look good too. So I got a plate out here and I'm going to cut it as soon as that um, glaze is a little bit cool. I'm going to cut it and show you what it looks like. But it's interesting, if you were to taste just this glaze, the glaze is kind of bitter. You know, it's not sweet at all. But when you put it on with a sugar cookie crust, and that layer that holds the fruit on, that is uh, cream cheese and sugar and vanilla, it all complements each other and is just delicious. It really is. And it's a great, uh, now this is something that if you serve it to a small bunch and you have leftovers, you'll want to eat it up pretty quick the next day or so because for some reason, with just a little moisture that the fruit might have on it and the cream cheese and all, it can get a little bit soggy and milky. So remember that. Okay, it's kind of still boiling, but I have put it on there when it's kind of warm. So here, I'll do it. It doesn't take too long either. It's like three steps. You make your cookie first, and then you assemble your fruit after you put your spread on to hold it and then uh, boil up your glaze. But it's this lemon glaze that makes it so good. I've never had another fruit pizza as good. And um, I want to say thank you to Deanna for introducing me to this because it was one of the best desserts I've ever had. Okay, I am going to go ahead, put the glaze on. You will probably want to keep it refrigerated after you've served it. Um, just because of the cream cheese and, and such. So. 
the best thing is just to make it for enough people that you get it all eaten. That's the best idea. And uh, the lemon that is in the glaze will keep the bananas from browning too. So that's another good thing. Then I'm going to be sitting there with a bunch of beautiful strawberries and kiwi and then brown bananas. Now look at this. Oh, it's just yum. All right, I am going to get a plate and I'm going to slice a piece off. Now keep in mind too, if you use a smaller pizza pan, it's going to be deeper unless you don't put all your cookie dough on there. And um, it's going to be thicker and you know, to take a little longer, maybe to um, bake, and it's gonna be a different. It's gonna be a different layer than this because it's gonna be thicker. Look at that! I'll put it on this plate, which is almost too small for it. <laughs> that is beautiful. I can't wait to dig in, and I'll make a little comment here. You rarely, if ever, see me eat anything on here just because my luck would fall on my cheek or my chin or whatever and uh, I just hate it when I see cooks lick their fingers to me that's gross <laughs> so anyway dig in I hope you make it it is so good and have a great day I love you bye-bye